بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم now the next thing will will try to connect the server now in our previous sections we already did up to this part now our topology is ready up to this part but again we need to connect one windows machine to the existing network now this windows server is going to do two jobs so one is this windows machine uh, from this windows machine i'm going to log into the vmanage via gui interface so i can i can use any of the mozilla browser and i can simply go ahead and say uh, https and we have assigned the ip address to the vbond so if i want to go via if i want to manage my if i want to log into my vmanage from where i do all the management related task i can log in so i need a pc in our existing network to connect now the other thing is we also need a pc we also need a server operating system which is going to act as a ca certificate authority because here we we need to authenticate between the controllers so these controllers need to authenticate each other between them and also when we connect the vhs these vhs also should be authenticated and the authentication is done based on some certificates we'll talk about certificates a little bit later next section and those certificates of uh, can be issued you can either use some kind of public uh, certificate from internet or we can use some internal certificate authority or internal enterprise ca server so in our scenario we will be installing a windows server machine so i'll be using windows server 2016 machine so i'm going to install some active directory services and some ca services certificate authority services and this will be issuing some certificates for authentication option so how we do that we'll see that a little bit later on but at this point of time we need one machine for two purposes one is for gui login and the other one is for ca certificate so that's the reason i'm using windows server uh, 2008 or whatever the windows server you want to use i think i'm using 2016 here so let's go ahead and in our topology we are going to add that server here again the prerequisite uh, we i expect you to already know how to upload the images we have seen that in the eveng sections so i'm going to select the windows server and select the operating system and the number of interfaces i required 3 here now because one will be connecting to the management with network one will be connecting to the uh, to the transport network now depending upon the requirement you can select so here i'm going to connect to 3 so let's try let's see how to connect a server to the existing topology now now the same thing you can applicable for the same thing you can apply to any topology let's say in any of your network you want to run some active directory services or any dns services or any dscp services you can connect that to the existing network and you can use that machine or maybe you can connect a normal windows 8 machine the same process will be applicable so here i'm going to show you both options where you can connect your pc whether it is a windows 7 or windows 8 or windows 10 machine the client machine or it can be a server how we can connect that to the network of course multiple networks at the same time we will also connect this to the local internet connection from where i can download some files if required from the internet that's something we'll see here so let's go ahead and drag and drop add a node here so i'll be using a windows server and this is the operating system i'm using the number of interfaces here i'm using 3 and click okay now once we add this server now we can go ahead and start this server now we can either start the server a little bit later once you do the connections so what i'll do is i'll connect one side and then we'll so on one side i'm going to use the first interface connecting to e0 let's save it Uh, other side I, i can connect other side as well but i don't want to get uh, confusion which interface connecting which side but in this case i'm going to connect one side and we'll do the verification on on one side so let me quickly connect 
this to the switch here. Now, once we do this connection, so I'm, I'm going to power on the server. And then you can, you can log into the server it, by using some VNC view. So I do have this VNC uh, here, but I need to know the exact port. You can see on the left side here, uh, 3665. So I can go ahead and change this one, any one, 3665. So if you want to see the GUI interface of your server or Windows machine, you, you must be using this VNC viewer. Uh, normally, sometimes when you click, it works, but here it's not working. So I had to give the exact ports in order to connect that device. Now, this is my server, which is already pre-configured or pre-installed one. So I don't need to do any installation here, depending upon what image you select. Now the image which I am selected, it is pre-installed. So it comes as if like a new machine and it's going to apply the settings and I can log in. So let's wait for the server to finish the uh, booting process. So the device is ready. So I'm going to send control or delete from here. And whatever the password you have set, if you have done the installation from the beginning, now here, this image is pre-installed. So the password is test123. As per the image, which I have uh, shared probably. Now, once we do this, the next step, what we'll be doing here is we, we want to make sure that we have this connection. So what I'll do is I'm going to assign the IP address here. It's going to be 10.5192.168.10.5, and I'll check whether it is able to communicate from this side. And then I'll connect another interface. So if you connect all interfaces at once, uh, probably it will be more difficult for you to figure out which interface going which side. That's uh, one of the problem you may face. And that's the reason I recommend you to just connect one interface. Of course, it will go in order, but sometimes that may not be the case all the time. So. So we'll go to our Windows machine, we'll assign the IP address, and then we'll verify the reachability to our network. Okay, so we, we got our Windows machine. So if I can simply go to the network settings, and from the network settings, I will try to assign the IP address, and then we'll verify the connectivity. And then later on, I'll go ahead and add the other interfaces as well. So the same way you do for any other uh, physical network it means you can add your windows machine on any of your network and that's how you do so go to adapter settings and from the adapter settings So I got these interfaces. Now you can see here, even I have added three interfaces at the time of image, but there is only one connected. So the one which we connected, I can go to that connected interface properties, and I'll try to assign the IP address as per my topology here. So in my topology, we'll be using 192, uh, 168, 10.5. So let's go to the TCP IP v4 properties and then use the IP address as 192.168.10.5 with a slash 24 subnet mask and then click OK. And once you do this, now what I can do is I can go to my command prompt. So let's go to the command prompt and try to verify the reachability for other three devices which exist in my network. So those devices can be any device. Like I'll try to ping and check the reachability with 192.168.10.1. That is your V manager. And then we'll try to verify the reachability to the second device that is your V smart. And the third device will be connecting here. So probably any other device like router switches, you can also do the same thing. Now let's try to make one more connection on the other side. So let's assume that we are using two interfaces. 
so we'll go ahead and connect and once we connect then what i should see is i should see one uh, connection from here of course this is not required so you can you can just delete this one So while you are doing the connection, there is some issue here. So now you can see here, I have connected one more interface. Now this is the interface which I connected. Now what I'll be doing is I'll be using a different IP address here. And the IP address is going to be 192.168.100.subnet. I'm using on the other side. 100.5, that will be the IP address. And we'll click OK. And then now we can go ahead and verify 192.168.100.1. Now 100.1 is the IP address on this side. So as for my topology, this is 100.1, this is 100.2 and 100.3, and this is 100.5. So we'll try to verify the reachability. And also we'll try to verify the reachability to 100.3 as well. Now, this is how you can connect any Windows machine, whether it is a Windows server or Windows, a normal Windows client operating system. You can connect them to the existing any of your network and you can uh, make sure that you can, you can simply ensure that they, you do have reachability between those devices.